What's up and welcome back to another video. Today we will be talking about Tiny Tina's Wonderlands as it is only just a couple of days away now at this point. I am excited about it, I don't know about you guys. Just two more days until we finally get to play this game. What I wanted to talk about today was are there going to be any returning legendaries? Uh, duh, of course there's going to be. But more specifically, what returning legendaries are going to be in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands? Now, if any of you are not familiar with the Borderlands franchise, there is a rarity of weapons called Legendary, which is always one of the more sought after and remembered rarities. Well, sure, there are some rarities that are more hard to come by, such as Pearl Essence, Rainbow Rarity, Seraphs, you guys get the gist. I do think that Legendaries are the most unique, and in most cases, they are just nine times better than any other guns in the game. And don't even get me started on the Pearl Essence from Borderlands 2, because I think we all know how I feel about those. But I just want to go ahead and talk about the most likely candidates for your returning legendaries in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I'm just going to go ahead and run through a quick little list that I have kind of made up in my own head here. So just bear with me as I go ahead and tell you guys what legendaries I think will return to Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. The first weapon that I want to talk about, and I will be pissed if they don't add it, is the Hellfire. Now if you guys do not know, this is a legendary that has been in the franchise since Borderlands 1. It has been through pretty much every game at this point, unless you include the Tales from the Borderlands, but if I'm being honest, I don't really count that. That's not really a Borderlands game, but I digress. Being in Borderlands 1, Borderlands 2, the pre-sequel, and even Borderlands 3, I see no reason why the Hellfire should not return in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, especially with the Dungeons and Dragons theme. I think just the name Hellfire alone, not that it's biased or anything, because it is my name after all, I would honestly be bamboozled if they didn't add the Hellfire to the game, because after all these years, you just kind of get used to seeing it, right? Maybe I'm in the minority there, but let's talk about another gun that I see returning almost 1 million percent. It is the Infinity Pistol, and in my opinion, this gun is a little bit overrated in pretty much every game that it has appeared in. But nonetheless, it is still a very popular weapon through the community, and it does have a very unique gimmick, having infinite bullets. And just the Infinity Pistol it has a good ring to it, the name, it rolls off the tongue, everybody knows it if you've played a Borderlands game. And for that reason alone, I see no reason why it's not going to return to Wonderland. So if you guys are a fan of the Infinity Pistol, I wouldn't hold your breath. You guys should be just fine. The next gun that I want to talk about is one that I don't know if they would actually put back into Borderlands. But it did make its debut back on Borderlands 3 and it is the Hellwalker. This beast of a shotgun was actually a double barrel that you would run around blasting enemies heads off with. And in my opinion, it's one of the best shotguns inside of Borderlands 3. And if you're asking me, it's my favorite shotgun to use in all of Borderlands 3. It might even be one of my favorite shotguns in all of the Borderlands games combined. I'm not even kidding. This thing is just so much fun to use. The skin is badass. It almost reminds me of like an unkempt herald, the way it's kind of black and orange. But it's very different in its own way. And just the entire style of the Borderlands 3 shotguns, other than Hyperion, of course were pretty damn badass in my opinion. Now some of them were a little boxier than I would have liked, but you can't lie, the Hellwalker is one sexy damn gun. Another gun that I would be shocked if they didn't add it into Tiny Tina's Wonderlands is the Unkempt Herald, just for the fact that it was so popular on Borderlands 2. And even in Borderlands 3 it wasn't a half bad weapon. Sure it wasn't the Borderlands 2 version, but it still was a pretty damn decent weapon. It also was in the pre-sequel, I forget to mention that. but. This is another one where it's almost like I don't even need to think about it. It's like I would be shocked if it wasn't in the game. I mean, how many of us have just sat there and farmed savagely for a couple of hours just for the hell of it? Looking for that double penetrating unkempt herald was always a fun part of Borderlands 2. And I'd like to see players get a little excited for the nostalgic drops. You know, when a legendary comes back, it makes you feel good. You're like, oh, I know this. I've seen it before. That was back in Borderlands 2. This is fucking sick, dude. It's like the universe is still interlocking and you still get to see the same guns because wouldn't that make sense why would these guns just disappear which brings me into my next gun and i don't know if this one's going to return probably not but i would love to see it return and that is the baby maker because god man i just love this freaking gun and i think they had it in borderlands uh the pre-sequel as well honestly it was the borderlands 2 version that just held a special place in my heart and i don't know what it is about it i don't know if it's just that beautiful skin 
or if it's just the reload damage, it's everything about it, dude. It was an awesome weapon, and I loved farming for it. Another gun that's origin started back on Borderlands 2 that I would be bamble fucked if they didn't add to the game is the Maggie because it has been in a couple of games at this point, uh, Borderlands 2, the pre-sequel, the third game as well. So I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be in Wonderlands. It's a pretty popular pistol among the player base. And honestly, it's probably the most popular Jacob's pistol in all of Jacob's. I mean, if you sit there and think about it, what Jacob's pistol is bigger than the Maggie? How many players know of a Jacob's pistol that is more popular than the Maggie? Comment down below if you think that's a stupid take, but I think that the Maggie is probably the most popular Jacob's pistol in all of the Borderlands universe. I just want to go ahead and mention that there is a good possibility that there will be a lot of returning legendaries from Borderlands 3, figuring it is on the same engine, kind of like how Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel ran on the same Unreal Engine. So it just honestly makes sense that we will see a lot of returning legendaries, probably not as many as I'm saying here, like there's a couple that are definitely a stretch on here, like the Baby Maker. I definitely don't know if we're going to see that one or not, but I would just love to hope. And the last gun that I want to mention is from Borderlands, the pre-sequel, and it is one that I honestly don't know how to feel about it returning, but can I really complain? It's the Excalibaster. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this was a gun that you had to retrieve from a little, like, podium. It would be sitting on this rock. It was pretty much a free legendary that anybody could get, but I can't remember what you had to do to get it. I think you needed a certain amount of badass rank, if I'm not mistaken. Was it badass rank, or did you have to be a certain level? Somebody will let me know down in the comments. I haven't played the pre-sequel in years, man. Like, I, I booted it up a couple months back and was screwing around on there a little bit. So somebody can clarify on how to get the Excalibaster back in the pre-sequel. But I did see some rumors a couple months back that that gun is 100% returning. Now take that with a grain of salt, because I have no idea if that's truly confirmable information but for some reason i could just see it and why the hell not i mean like i said the borderlands universe is a crazy thing and there are a couple of pre-sequel crackheads out there as i like to call them and they would probably shit their pants for an excalibaster so you know what to hell with it bring it back the more the merrier they say and you know what with legendaries it's true sometimes, just as long as they're not going to be dropping like they were in Borderlands 3. Please fix the rates just a little bit, man. I want to have that special feeling again. When you see a legendary drop on the floor and you're like, oh, what is that? I don't want it to be like Borderlands 3 where a legendary drops and I'm like, oh, another one. So as long as they get the balance right, does it really matter what legendaries are returning? No, I'd like to see a lot of new ones, if anything. I'd like to see more new legendaries than old. But still, the returning legendaries are an important part of the game, and they're always going to hold a special place in my heart. And with that, I don't really have much more for you guys today, but I do hope you all did enjoy today's video. And if you did, make sure to smash a like on it. Subscribe down below if you are new, and if you guys are ready for Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, well, join the family, because we are going to sit around the dinner table for Wonderlands, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, we are going crazy with it. We're going to have a Thanksgiving feast on the 25th of March. I hope you guys are ready for turkey, ham, stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, green beans. It doesn't matter. You guys stay safe. And with that, I will see you all in the next one.